Hi guys and welcome to episode 2 of uh, Kerbal Space Program Contracts in the latest version 0.24 of Kerbal Space Program. Um, at the end of the first episode we managed to land our rocket safely and uh, gather some useful science data. So let's go ahead and spend that science. Here, if we go into this section we can buy the basic rocketry which gives us all these goodies. And that's only 5 science, so let's go ahead and buy that. And that's put us at 27.7 research points now. Now there's further parts we can build, um, buy, such as solid fuel boosters, liquid fuel. Need 20 science for that. Got some wings, aerodynamics, decoupler. But I think, hmm, a liquid fuel engine LV909. Now that could be very useful with a radial mount parachute. So at this stage, I'm going to go ahead and research this for 15 science, and then shortly we'll be able to get some uh, science gathering uh, utilities once we got 45 science. So let's go ahead and uh, look at our rocket that we got so far, and see how much more we can build, and how far we can get with it. So I think that's not a bad little rocket. I've got no, uh, well, I've got decouplers, but. I might do is underneath that put a decoupler there and I'm gonna actually aim for the moon this time don't know if it's possible but you gotta aim, you gotta aim for something right so let's give that a go get rid of that get rid of that put that underneath then the decoupler then this little rocket all right so all together this is correctly set up, so that's going to go first. And that's going to give us a delta V of 4,600. Not too terribly bad. If I get rid of that one, stick that there, that's going to give us a delta V of 3,800. Not too massive. Could really do with some decouplers or uh, not decouplers, uh, detachment manifolds and such around the side. But I'm going to go ahead and launch this and see what useful data I can get out of it. So let's call this rocket first contracts two. Whatever contracts are available, let's firstly go and find that out. So in order to find out what we need, we need to go to this place, which is mission control. So we can test LV909 liquid fuel engine landed at Kirby. So actually we can do this mission because we've just got a LV-909 engine on our rocket, so let's accept that contract. Uh -huh. uh, test Mark II our radial mount parachute in flight over Kerbin. We can also accept that because at some point we can uh, do that mission. Uh, stack coupler, we can also do that one. Let's accept that. Uh, but mainly on this mission, my uh, aim is to gather some more science points from the Kerbal on board. So, that's what we're going to go ahead and do. Let's go ahead and press launch. And into the stratosphere we go. Now, you can see at the moment we can't build really good uh, rockets at this point. You know, we've got no radial decouplers or anything like that. But we can gather science points which will come in useful for uh, researching the parts we need in order to build more fancy rockets. Now what they've done is um, tied in the contracts with uh, the amount of research you're going to get. Uh, what I mean by that is uh, by taking on board the contracts you get money and then using that money you can build the ships in order to test out the further contracts but also to go further places in the Sphere, shall we call it, or in the universe to gather more data. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on here, see if we can get a crew report. We're not going to get any signs from that, so let's not worry about that. We're just going to get as high as we can and try to gather maybe some, maybe some data from uh, the ocean or from the land. The land is actually a really good place to gather data from um, at this point. So heading quite high. Using this flight engineer um, mod is really beneficial. It tells you 
how much fuel you've got left and what delta V you can expect from that fuel. So uh, let's see how much data we can get. So okay, we can get 3.5 science data from this mission. Report that data. That's great. Potentially, our apoapsis is going to be like 45,000. Also, guys, uh, at this point, I just want to say I wish you well in all your little Kerbal adventures. If you've got any interesting tales to tell, please share them in the comments section. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you're not new, leave a like, that would be really a blessing. I appreciate it greatly. Uh, we're actually going to get into orbit like this, so this is fantastic. I don't know if we'll be able to achieve orbit because we've only got 615 delta V, but we'll certainly give it a go. Also, don't forget to check out my other videos. I've uh, got a series based on microengineering where I test out how much you actually, how much fuel is needed to do certain things on the minimum, you know, with as with as little fuel as possible in order to achieve certain things. That's basically that. And uh, Kerbal Flight School, which is pretty cool, and that basically is uh, learning to fly planes because I don't have a great deal of experience. So hopefully you'll join me on either of those. All right, now we're going to rotate our rocket into the right position. Uh, you can see we've got a delta V of 1,561, but only available 615. So this isn't really going to work. But anyway, if you look at the nav ball, we've moved our little cursor over the blue icon, and that shows us uh, where we need to be positioning our ship in order to get the required maneuver going. I'm just going to burn as much as I can here, see wherever I land. Maybe I can get some useful science data. But like I said, this early on in the career mode is uh, a difficult thing to consider. This mission, I'm going to do some science gathering. On the next mission, I'm going to do some um, contract completion. So aim to complete what the contracts are asking me to complete, basically. So that's a pretty good shot of our little rocket there, flying above Kerbin. Lovely jubbly. I'm going to fast forward time and see where we potentially end up. Looks like we're ending up at uh, 60,000 meters. Now this video wouldn't be complete without my obligatory Scott Manley impression. So welcome to Cobalt Space Program. My name's Scott Manley and I hope you enjoy my video. Right, let's continue with our free fall now. I'm trying to get out of the Scottish accent. <laughs> there we go, burning up in the atmosphere. Lovely, lovely, exactly what we'd want. Now at 500 meters, the parachute we have on top of here will open, but we uh, need to wait until we've fallen a bit further and reduced our speed a bit more before we open it. Otherwise it will just tear off and uh, that's not much good. So there we go, we're actually getting quite close to the surface now, 1500 meters above. I'm going to go ahead and activate my parachute. Speed is low enough to consider it. Oh, you can see the moon in the distance there. We'll get there one day, moon. There we go, and now our speed's dropped significantly once the parachute's open. We'll wait till we uh, land in the ocean and see what Jebediah can gather for our research purposes. Down we go. And we... Oh my god! Fuel blew off. What? But Jeb's still alive, so that's the main thing. There he is. Go on, Jeb. Get an EVA report. Ooh, another 5.6 science. Very interesting. Says he's in a precarious situation. Don't worry, Jeb. You're quite safe, my good man. Let's get another crew report if we can. We can't. Okay, no problem. So we're going to go ahead to the space center and recover our rocket and then look at uh, what the contracts require in order to uh, complete them, particular contracts. So let's go here. Recover our rocket. First contracts to recover. As you can see, that's given us 17.1 science, lovely jubbly, some parts, so it gives us, refunds us funds, basically, that we recovered, and Jebediah's back, and we got plus 24.8 reputation. Thank God we didn't kill you, Jeb. Uh, sometimes they uh, mess up and do kill him, but thankfully he doesn't actually die, he just uh, takes a short vacation, shall we say. Alright, so now let's look at uh, what we want to do. So. This first contract is test LV-909 liquid fuel engine. And we can do that to perform the test, activate the part through the staging sequence when all test conditions are met. So I guess all we have to do is fire up that engine at any point during our mission. Make sure it lands. 
and away we go. So, in order to do that, we don't even need this whole section, I guess. It doesn't say we need to be at any particular height or anything. So, there we go. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, change the staging around over there. Move up a little bit so we can see our rocket and go to launch. I'm sure all it's asking for is us to test this engine. Doesn't say anything else about what altitude we need to be at, what speed we need to be at. Let's see if we can get some further information here. So test LV999 liquid fuel engine. Okay. Let's see what happens if we take off then. Launch, press T for the SAS to engage. And away we go. There we go. Now we've uh, completed it. Easy. There's a stacked couple of tests to do. Let's take a quick look at that while we're here. All we have to do is test it. Don't need to be at any particular altitude. In order to test the Mark II R radial mount parachute, we do need to be at a particular altitude and a particular speed. We may be able to do this with this rocket. So what I'm going to do is leave this rocket running, see how high we get on this, and if it gets to the correct altitude, and uh, if it does, we can just attach. Uh, radial mount parachute and activate it, and that will complete that as well. So, on the next mission, we'll pass uh, two more contracts. What I'm going to do now is just I can see that's easily going to get to the desired height, so I'm just going to fast forward now, cut the engines, wait for us to land back on Kerbin. Can we get any more science? I don't think so, but we'll have a look. No, we can't. Okay, cool, no problem. Down we go, Jeb. Uh-oh, we're going fast. Don't forget your parachute, ladies and gents. Alright, we're approaching... Not too bad of a speed. 500 meters. There we go. It opens beautifully. Hopefully the engine doesn't blow up and take Jeb with it this time. Let's see, we've still got a bit more fuel if we need it, I guess. Actually, we can use that as like a buffer to slow us down even further. Nicely, nicely. Now we go gently to the surface. A bit more throttle. Don't want to be plowing too hard into the ground. There we are. We've landed. It might have toppled over, but we've landed. Let's do a crew report. Nothing. Do an EVA. What are you saying, Jeb? EVA report. 5.6 science. That's as, e as easy as it as easy as it is to get science. So we completed that mission, test LV909 liquid fuel engine. Beautiful. Let's go back to the space center and accept our funds and our reputation. So again, we need to go to the recovery center, find our little vessel, and there it is. So we've got another 5.6 science data from this got some parts so we're regathering funds and our crew is back so another 24.7 reputation nice and that's also given us some more research points so we can look at um, expanding our research now as well so let's go to the research center and see what's available for our 39.4 yeah we're looking at 45 still to unlock those science parts yeah, we've got some more parts here, inline reaction wheel, got the radial decoupler's there for 18 science. But since we're only 5.6 science away, I'm going to leave that and wait until we can actually unlock the science junior module. So again, what we're going to do now is go ahead and complete another contract. So <clears throat> let's take a look. Test the Mark II R radial mount parachute, as discussed previously. So let's go ahead and find it. There it is, that's the radial mount parachute. I think what I'm going to do is just put two of them on just for some sort of symmetry. One's probably fine, but we'll go ahead and do it. Don't even need that one on top, so that'd be a waste of money if we include that. Now I think this can get to the right altitude and speed. Let's call this first contracts three, just to differentiate it. And go ahead and launch. As you can see, there are stipulations to this contract that we need to meet, such as the altitude needing to be between two heights, and uh, we need to be traveling at a certain speed. But that shouldn't be an issue. Okay, so let's go ahead, power up the throttle, press T for our SAS to engage, press space, and off we go. Now again, 
we click in the top right hand corner here, we can see the test parameters. So we need a certain amplitude there, 4,700 meters to 9,500 meters. And speed of between 170 and 370 meters per second. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I believe we can get that high, but it's another one of those things that may be wrong. We might need to try it again. If we do, not too much of a big deal. Again, the aim of the game is to get as much science as we can and complete as many contracts as we can, as we can in order to increase our uh, budget for further missions like the um, series. Jeb's looking all excited there. All right, we're at a nice height, we're at a nice speed, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the throttle and... Oh, God, I opened our parachutes too late. No! All right, let's just keep our throttle burning and see if this will complete it. It has, and our parachute has not worked. Okay then, all right, no problem. We'll revert flight to launch and make sure we press space quicker this time. Bit of a fail, but hey ho, I'm recording this live on the fly, so pardon me. Again, we have a Let's get a nice view of the surroundings. It's quite nice this little place. Cool if there was like little villages and vegetation and stuff you could land in and different things like that. Maybe it's something they'll include in uh, future builds of the game. I don't know what their plans are. Uh, if you want to get the flight engineer um, mod that I've been using here, again, as in my previous video, I'll include it in the description. Uh, get it from www.curse.com and follow your notes try and find Kerbal Space Program and then that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, but I will put a link directly to the mod. Alright, so our speed is fine, only just. To keep it burning for a little bit longer, make sure we're definitely going to meet it this time. <coughs> Cut our throttle, press space, and there we go. We have completed the test mark to our radial mount parachute in flight over Kerbin. Now, what we need to do is, as you can see, we're going high up in the sky. <clears throat> it's going to take a while for the mission to end, so I'm just going to carry on like this, speed up time, and make it pass quicker. Do -do -do -do, down we come, oh god, slow down, rocket, slow down. Damn it, it's not slowing down, you guys. Oh god, going way too fast. Maybe they open properly at 500 meters. Let's see. Ah, yeah. <coughs> oh, thank God they do. Excellent. That slowed me down much more. Five, just over five meters per second descent speed. So that's good. Again, Jeb, I know you're in a bit uh, dangerous hands here with me at the helm, but you're going to survive, I think. So I've just sped up time, pressed the full stop key. And uh, there we go. We should easily land. There we go, we have landed. All right, give us a little crew report, nothing. EVA, can we get the science we need? Oh, he's fell out. EVA report, 2.4 science, we can get surface sample, and number nine science, nice. Brilliant. So again, all, now all we have to do is press escape, go back to the space center, and this very much, very nearly, sorry, concludes this episode two of uh, Kerbal Space Program career mode in version 0.24. Hope you've enjoyed watching, ladies and gents. And uh, leave some comments and a like if you uh, enjoy what I'm doing here. Thanks very much for joining me. Take care, and I'll see you all very soon.